Hi guys, in today's video we are going to discuss about uh, entities. So what exactly is the entities? Okay. So we'll go back to our uh, the last project that we were doing. So in this uh, we added weather, right? And in this we were asking like what is the weather today and what is the weather outside or something of thing. For that we have the hard coded responses. Today's weather is awesome and it's at 32 degrees celsius so let's say if we want to know the weather of particular location right how we will know right so we have to tell the bot uh in this case the dialog flow es like which location we want right so uh, for that we have two type of entities right one is uh, built-in entities okay so if i go over here and add something like uh, what is weather for Pune right and over here Pune is a location so if you see right it has automatically detected the city okay similarly how is London weather weather is it okay so see again uh, even if it is not an Indian city so all the famous cities uh, are by default available from Google site. So these are called built-in entities. So entities are nothing but uh, uh, you can say proper noun. Okay. Now if I come down over here, uh, where are my parameters? Yeah, over here. So if I mark this one, okay. So what has happened is uh, we have detected, uh, we have added the built-in entities or we have used one of the built-in entities and there are many built-in entities available so if I go over here and uh, type right so these are the areas like numbers unit currencies date uh, percentage state also location time airport location street address uh, I think mostly for US email uh, what are the uh, countries, cities, language, temperature? Okay, so temperature is there. This is what we are working on. Uh, currencies, person name, given name, zip code, URL, speed, cities, color, durations, and all this thing. So, which is normally if you want to do with respect to uh, numbers or the things which is publicly available for let's say for airlines for trains for anything else right but if you want to create your own so those are called as custom entity okay so now we will do this thing so we ask this thing like if user ask like what is the weather uh, for Pune so this is the one of the entity I will change the name to city okay so this is what you okay and instead of this one uh, uh, I can mention so like sure I can assist with uh, what is that uh, city weather now for the custom one right uh, we will ask something like uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit right so which is not a uh, inbuilt right so we will try to create a custom one Okay, so I'm going to ask the question to users. Sure, I can assist with the weather. Uh, do you want it in, okay, what is the spelling of Celsius and Celsius? Uh, is it will come. Thank you. Celsius. Do you want it in Celsius or Fahrenheit? Do you want it in Celsius or Fahrenheit? Okay. So we will do question mark over here and click it save. Okay. So now if I test my bot, right? So if I say hi, it will go to the welcome intent. If you see over here, how can I help you? I will see what is the weather okay so before that I forgot 
so let's say if user does not say the weather name uh, sorry city name uh, so what is the weather just type like that right so it will ask like uh, what is the response for that one so right now it is expecting the value of city so what we will do is we will go and add a value to it uh, sorry uh, we required market required and we'll say please uh tell me city name so that uh, uh bot can tell like if i don't provide the city name uh it can provide me or it will ask me for which city right okay click on save and let's try okay so if i say hi so it will trigger so what is the weather oops what happened okay so i asked what is the weather today so it's now asking me the city name so i will give like uh, mumbai okay so once it received the mumbai so it says here i can assist with mumbai weather do you want in celsius and fahrenheit now for celsius and fahrenheit if i say now right it will not do anything okay because it does not know what to do with this information so what we will do first we will create uh, entities okay so let's create a name like a degree type something like that okay and we will what user can say is user can say celsius and user can see c right so that is also valid one and for fahrenheit f right these are the two things that user can say so we will click on save so we have celsius and fahrenheit configured and click on save did i click here okay now what i will do i will go back over here we have asked we have got the city now i want to collect the uh follow up question which is uh what type of uh celsius or fahrenheit right so either i can do add a follow up intent okay since it is just a single information we are asking like celsius and fahrenheit what i will do i will create a one custom follow up intent or we can use the context by default also over here if you see uh context has been added right weather follow up and if i go back to my main intent you will see that out context is added i will explain it about it in the coming video but for now just to get the idea like how the mapping is done like after the question 1 how to go to the question 2 this is decided by this context okay okay so we will name uh ask what is that uh degree d okay we can give any name doesn't matter okay now over here what uh, uh we are looking right so we are looking in celsius so if user say in like okay, in fahrenheit okay now we have to add or mark it as a uh what is that uh, custom entity so if i scroll down or if i search for what is that degree right a yeah, degree type why i am showing two uh not sure why it is showing two uh but anyway uh in fahrenheit uh i can say in please in celsius right okay, and it has automatically detected that uh i can directly say celsius right and i can also say something like uh that is i think more than sufficient okay so now that we have city now we know that the intent was weather entity two entity we have one is city name another one is uh in which uh, uh what is that celsius and fahrenheit degree we can show right so i will say okay something like response as okay
the weather is 32 uh i don't know how to put degree degree and since we have degree type as a name so we will do that and click save okay so let's see again so if, uh, if i type hi it will reset or let me reset the counter manually type hi and i will say i like to check whether for pune okay so now that i have directly asked uh, the question uh, the provided the city name it is not asking me that like for which city because uh, if in the initial sentence that information is already present then we don't have to ask right uh, so you are sure i can assist with uh, pune weather i will say i want in celsius okay oh why it went to did i click save okay so it was not saved at that time sorry so now it went to uh, whether ask degree type and you got this parameter as celsius right and right now what we are showing is hard coded value or hard coded response degree uh, like this one in the coming video we will see how to use a api to pull this information and show the response actually right if i ask for the weather of pune what exactly the temperature is we will get it from the api so yeah this is what uh, entities mean it's nothing but a proper noun and we have some built in entities provided by google dialog flow framework and obviously you can create your own custom one uh hopefully you like the video thank you